really nice secure packaging on our fixtures. We don't want any damages during transportation. And the last thing we have is these little nuts and bolts. Be sure you guys always look for these. This is a common thing that we get calls for and it's just in the bottom of the box. And we're unboxed and we can go through the fixture. You have your instruction manual, your control cables, your power cord, nuts and bolts, and the fixture. Now the fixture typically comes pre-installed with a reflector. You're not gonna get a pre-installed lamp because this doesn't come with a lamp, and Illuminar never installs lamps in fixtures. General features that you see in most Illuminar HID fixtures is you'll notice we have a vertically mounted uh, driver. And the reason the ballast itself is vertically mounted is one for the most important thing, heat dissipation. With HID fixtures, it create a lot of heat. The reason we vertically stack this and you don't see it stacked sideways is because one of these fins wouldn't work properly. Um, the, the way these fins are made and designed is to actually extract heat away from the boards, away from the components inside, and pull heat away from it. When it's vertically mounted like this, it allows air to create uh, essentially induction cooling where it's gonna pull air through the vents and uh, exit through the top. Anytime you can extract heat away from your fixture, it allows your fixture to have a longer life and better uh, longevity. Now, you know, the, the other mounted fixture, uh, the other mounted fixtures have the driver mounted sideways. You're only really saving a couple inches. This can be installed also with C hangers um, across the back on these two bolts right here. And you can purchase those uh, from local retailer or distributor. This comes with your twist lock socket. We actually have a whole video on the twist lock socket and how that works. Uh, on the back here, we have your wiring connection. This is where your power cord is going to connect. We also have a, a sealed RJ14 connector for control. So that's where these are going to come into play to control the fixture. Um, as we dive into the front of the fixture, uh, you notice you'll have a controls right here. These controls allow you to um, manually dim the product. So you, you have percentage points here. So you have 50, 75, 100 and 110. Now, this is a 630 watt fixture, but because you can turn it up 110%, doesn't mean there's some magic inside of here. This fixture is actually overbuilt, so it actually runs at 645, 650 watts at 110. That's its true potential. When you turn it 100%, we're essentially putting on cruise control, so it has better longevity. Little trade secret, a lot of people don't talk about your HID fixtures. Then you have this last one right here that sometimes people miss, which is EXT, that means extension. This is when you're gonna plug your controller cables into it to control it with an external controller. That is the function you're gonna wanna turn that on and you're good to go. So as soon as you either get your rope ratchet hangers uh, mounted on the fixture, which would go on the, the back pin right here and get it hung up, Plug your, lamp, plug your power cord in, obviously install your lamp before you turn your power on. You can buy various different controllers for this. We have uh, the hash controller and the touch controller. New this summer in 2021, we have the touch plus controller. Uh, all three of those controllers are compatible with our CMH630 DE fixture. One of the other items that's very obvious that's an accessory for this is our lamps. And we have three different lamps. First, we have a, uh, 630 3K, our 630 3K red, and a 630 4K. Um, each one of these lamps is a dual emitter lamp, meaning there's actually two small ball arc tubes inside. So each arc tube is about 315 watts. Um, this is just an amazing grow lamp for your facility. Uh, when you're looking for full spectrum, you can see the, the volume of spectrum that is inside some of these lamps. Drop into our website, look at these. Uh, when you know people are considering LED but might not be the right price point for you, definitely turn the page and go look at CMH. Uh, this is one of the uh, highest competitive spectrums you can get in the market and comparable to a spectrum with an LED fixture. And these are just great when you compare it price point to spectrum. It's a great alternative if you can't dive into that LED product. Finally, wrapping up with this fixture, um, this fixture does come with our three year limited warranty, which is just an excellent warranty. You ever have any issues, always reach out to our customer support staff. Um, the lamps itself on the accessory side of it have a one year limited warranty. Um, and one of the uh, last features we'll talk about is something that most people don't even know that you can actually exchange out when it's time to put in a new lamp. Uh, we actually have this feature right here. 
where you can actually exchange out the reflector. A lot of people do not know and a lot of people will not tell you that your reflector actually needs to be changed out about the same time when you need to exchange out your lamp. Uh, this will affect about 10 to 15 percent of your um, reflectivity in your fixture and it's definitely a must when you want to do that. So that wraps up our video today with the unboxing of the Illuminar 630CMH. If you guys have any questions, definitely comment. We'll respond right away, get your questions answered if you want to know more about this fixture. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe, get the latest alerts by subscribing in our, in our YouTube channel. You'll see the latest videos come out for Illuminar. And all, as always, thank you very much. See you guys in the next video.